Welcome back to your daily dose of the Vizela. Today we're chatting to Devon Swanepoel, who's from DGS Photography and has been assisting us on the Vizela. So we're going to be finding out more about his business and what he's been doing during lockdown. Welcome, Dev. Welcome. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Dev, tell us, how did you get into photography, first of all? Well, it's, what happened was uh, I've always enjoyed photography since I was young. I used to incorporate it with my artworks during school. Um, then, obviously, throughout the travels, which I did with my family and along with my fiancé, <coughs> I used to take photos of ourselves, of the places that we have visited. Um, during that process, on the, one of our family friends noticed that the, the photos I was taking was really something special, and he encouraged me to maybe pursue that. So when we came home from a trip to Thailand uh, a couple of years ago, one of my friends said to me that they noticed that the quality of my photos was really something that was special and that I should actually focus on that as a, a career, possibly. So what I did was I was practicing shoots with my fiance, I practiced with other people, friends, whoever was willing to, to assist me in the process. And I just practiced uh, learning the camera and, uh, in more depth than what I knew already, as well as uh, seeing what I could do with the, this new art form that I, I decided to pursue. Um, an opportunity arose uh, along with a, an events company that they needed a photographer for an event uh, that their photographer had cancelled last minute. So me being that type of person, I just decided, yeah, why not? Let's give this a try. So that, after that night, uh, getting paid for something that I really love doing and that is enjoyable for me was something that sparked a, a deeper passion for, for what I do. And ever since then, I haven't, <clears throat> I haven't looked back. It's been now just over three years close to four years that I've been doing this. Um, so I've been involved in events, uh, weddings, corporate shoots, restaurants, you name it. Anything that interests me and that has an opportunity that comes my way, I'm more than happy to assist in that process. And have you got an industry or a type of event that you have fallen in love with that is your preference? I know you you're one of those photographers which shoots incredible footage across all industries. But which are the ones that you love? So I definitely think uh, any type of uh, event that incorporates musicians, I absolutely love that. I did a festival last year which had some of South Africa's best artists and that for me was one of my highlights because I didn't think I'd get an opportunity to uh, be on stage and shoot musicians like Rubber Duck and Good Luck and Matthew Mole and that was something that was really something that is set apart from all the other types of shoots that I've done. Other than that, I love weddings. That's been an absolute joy of mine because to share a couple's journey through that day is something that's really special, especially considering that it's coming up to my own wedding. <clears throat> that is something that really excites me and uh, it's just so much fun because it gets to incorporate all aspects of the photography that I do enjoy, which would be um, the decor and styling, as well as uh, capturing people's raw emotions, as well as a couple shoot, which is just a couple alone. And there you can get creative and stage certain aspects of the shoot, as well as certain couples, most of my couples that I've dealt with prefer candid shots. So it would be me just capturing them while they're having some alone time before the start of the reception, which has been phenomenal. And obviously with lockdown and being able to shoot events and those sort of things has come to a standstill. But you took the time and you've got into doing something else. Tell us about teaching English. So I've always been very much of a, a nurturer growing up. Uh, I think I, it stems from my mother. She's a teacher. Um, that's always been something on my mind that I enjoy teaching and helping others progress with whatever they're doing and if I have the knowledge and expertise to assist them. Um, so through that uh, it came about at the beginning of the year where I thought maybe I should be doing teaching as a, as a part-time position uh, to fill up my days because as most people should know or maybe they don't know that uh, photography isn't a consistent every single day uh, career or, or job that you're going to be continuously busy. There are moments where I'll have months at a time where I'm busy every single day, but then there are weeks where 
you'll have empty days and I would like to fill those days and be productive with those days as well as uh, earning some income. So I did a bit of research into that and I decided to study a TEFL course and through that uh, it came in an opportune moment where lockdown was being imposed and I saw the opportunity that there's a high demand for teachers and that's what stemmed that and it's been a couple months of that now and I'm absolutely loving it as well. Devin, tell us about the videography part of your business. So that's something I've uh, incorporated uh, over the past year towards about two and a half years uh, because that's something that I've always loved film and uh, since moving down to Belita at the beginning of last year there have been more opportunities for me to branch out in that aspect and ever since then I've found a, a real groove for filming a uh, food uh, filming uh, production of or the making of certain food items as well as filming weddings as uh, that is something that has cropped up a lot more than uh, the photography itself is filming weddings especially being down here not many people have catered for that and that is something I absolutely love so that has been one of my main focuses especially during lockdown having the opportunity to film with certain restaurants and getting that aspect done as well as learning from being involved in the Vuvuzela itself and learning from Monet as well, who's always the man behind the, the scenes. And that is something that has helped me progress my business as well. That's incredible because like you say, I mean, you can go to a restaurant and they need shots of their actual venue. But the fact that you can video a chef making their speciality um, meal um, just adds to the bouquet of your offering. So that's that's great that you've been able to do that during this time. Definitely, and it allows me to branch out into certain aspects and uh, certain genres of uh, filming that I wouldn't necessarily do with photography, which is incredible. Wonderful, Dave. Thank you so much for joining us on the Vuvuzela and all the best for your wedding next year and for the new addition to the family who's joining us at the end of August. Yes, I'm absolutely ecstatic. I uh, have a little boy joining us at the end of this month. And yeah, I couldn't be more excited for the new arrival and what the future holds for us. And to our viewers out there, we'll be sharing DGS Photography's details with you. And if you've got an upcoming event or wedding or um, need some photography done for your restaurant or your hotel, get in touch with Devon.